I was lucky enough to be one of the customers Optimus NG sent out to try their Optimus Home Mini prototype. And following testing, they've started sending out the real deal. And in this short video, I'm going to show you what it is and how you can easily set it up. When you have a smart meter installed, you'll also be given an in-home display, or IHD. These devices are clunky, don't offer a lot of information, and the data it does offer is often outdated or incorrect. It also has to be plugged in, which means it's often left in one room, or worse, unplugged and left to gather dust in the kitchen drawer. The Octopus Home Mini aims to resolve this by offering almost real-time data which links directly into the Octopus app on your phone. This means you don't have to keep looking at your IHD or waiting for the half-hour data to come through the next day. Ok, now we know what it does, let's get it set up. In your box you'll find an Octopus Home Mini Quick Start Guide, the Octopus Home Mini device, a USB power cable and a USB plug. To get started, plug in your Octopus Home Mini, ideally somewhere close to your smart meter and within range of your home Wi-Fi. The LED light will blink blue. Use the QR code in the quick start guide to navigate your way to the link it brings up. If you don't already have the Octopus NG app installed, it will ask you to download it. Once you've downloaded and installed the app, scan the QR code again. Follow the in-app instructions and tap the Let's Get Started button. Connect to the Octopus Home Mini device. Type in your Wi-Fi password and tap connect to Wi-Fi. Once that's all done, you're ready to go and the app should load. Tap on the usage tab. Note, it may take up to 15 minutes for live consumption to be visible within the Octopus app on initial setup. You'll now be able to see your electricity usage in real time. This usually updates every 10 to 15 seconds or so, but I've sped it up for the purposes of not losing your attention. You can see at the present time we are generating more than we are using, and therefore exporting our excess solar energy to the grid. You can also view your usage for the last 5 minutes, the last 30 minutes, and the day so far. Your usage resets at midnight, and previous data is visible within the Octopus app. To find out more you can click on the link in the video description box below, which will take you to this FAQ section about the Octopus Home Mini. Whilst this device and its features are very much in their infancy, it's still a massive step on from the IHD we saw before, and it has a huge potential. It would be good to see a widget or notification feature, so I don't have to open the app each time to see my real-time usage. Another useful feature would be allowing the end user, i.e. me or you, to set certain instructions. For example, when the real-time consumption goes above 3 kilowatts or below minus 2 kilowatts, it would trigger an audible alert which could then lead to the homeowner checking what's consuming that much or if it's generating surplus electricity, plugging in their electric car. If you're an Octopus Energy customer and want to get your hands on one of these Octopus Home Minis, you can contact them via email or Twitter to be added to the waiting list. They'll check you have a compatible smart meter and get you out one as soon as they can. If you found this video useful, then please like and subscribe to the channel to keep up with new content we'll be uploading. And if you enjoyed this video and you're wondering if solar and or battery storage is worth it for you, I think you'll find this video useful to calculate your savings based on your household's consumption and the various different install options you might be considering. Sound good? I'll see you there.